So I'm going to do a little bit of coaching today. Oh, English mirror. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, fast lag, fast rag. Let's do this. Yeah, I... So remember, I've, I've had to change my mouse sensitivity with this new monitor and stuff, so uh, it's a bit faster than what I'm used to. And also, it's 27 inch, so again... Uh, let's see how this goes. So I might be a bit all over the shop for a little bit, but English mirror. I'm good. This is, uh, I'm a little bit sick. My uh, little boy has been, uh, he's had a cold. Uh, Ilan, yeah. It's on a, like 165 hertz and stuff, like I did all the changing. Because initially when I plugged in the monitor, my, my other monitor was my main monitor, which, uh, wasn't what I wanted, right? It wasn't what I wanted at all. <laughs> Where, like, your start screen's on the wrong thing and everything, and I was like, ah! Okay, so, to start off this game, just being super duper simple. First two workers we make go onto the gold, and then everything onto food. And we are in an English mirror. Now, a lot of people that I've played against in the past. And even myself, I've gone for like these wheelbarrow builds, which I think have had success, but I think they took away from what really made English very solid. I think, in general, what makes English very good, in my opinion, is the fact that they're so quick to get going and slow down your opponent. We've seen that with a uh, wheelbarrow, or rather with a uh, men at arm builds. So here I'm just kind of splitting up the sheep killing. With the wheelbarrow builds, or blah, 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 blah. dark age men at arm builds, along with uh, just lumbo pressure in general. But everything that everything that English does, you can tell that I'm a bit brain like this morning. Everything that English does feels like Terran in StarCraft 2, that it's a, a means of slowing down your opponent. That's how it feels to me. So just going around gathering a lot of sheep. When you play English Mirror, the game in general isn't about uh, denying your opponent of sheep. So we're just going about collecting sheep in our own way. And even though this wood patch is a little bit closer, I'm not going for it. Primary reason. I want to be able to continue to get wood for a long time. So, three on uh, three on the building, our council hall. And we're just kind of uh, chilling. Now, with this slow gold income that we're getting, we can focus on a few things. We will be able to get wheelbarrow eventually. So that's something that we're not going to uh, rule out at all. It just wasn't our uh, first thing to go for. Because again, I like to play the idea of Terran, when you play Terran against Zerg in StarCraft 2, that if you try and match your opponent, macro-wise, they're just going to be ahead of you. And playing a game where your opponent's just ahead of you, ah, not exactly my cup of tea. Now, if we look at his layout, where's his wood? So, his wood, opposite side to his gold, that means we have to make a choice. And what would we prefer to slow down? Probably as wood, right? Probably. Kill that cheapy. And we'll just have a look around. Which build is this? This is just a good standard English build, actually. So he can start making Lombowmen now. And when we get that uh, last bit of gold, which is going to happen fairly soon, I'm going to be a happy camper. Because right now our economy is solid. Make sure we keep on producing workers. And we produce archers very quick. Because it's a council hall. So this kind of spread on the resources that we've got going. Whenever I try and talk to people about uh, how they should have their resources, a lot of people tend to try and put way too many on the gold when they play English, which, as a general rule of thumb, isn't exactly what you want to be doing. 
Now, because he's attacking us, we will have slightly more initially. Even though he has potentially made more faster than us. This is just uh, the small advantage of being the defender. That your reinforcements come a little bit quicker. And so nothing bad happened out of this situation at all. We'll start playing the Z formation game as well. So our scout's a little bit ahead. So he'll take the first volley if we are to take a volley. And actually soon... I don't want to be too crazy here, but this is his wood, which is slightly exposed. If we can kill that scout... Okay, he's got, he's got way less vision than us now. Way less vision. Uh, like to prioritize uh, villager production over the longbow production. And here, given that our wood is slightly better than our uh, food, but we're still going to be rallying onto the wood. We're just going to utilize it nicely, giving ourselves a little bit of that uh, beautiful wood income. Or rather, beautiful farm income. And we'll also get ourselves the wood upgrade. So we're going to have wheelbarrow now and go for the wood upgrade. Meaning nice and smooth. And again, new mouse sensitivity because I've got a, a brand new monitor here. So I might be a little bit uh, less smooth. Ooh, he actually... Okay, okay. So I think this was actually a nice move by him. Which uh, he sacrificed making an extra villager here for getting the scout. And we'll get a few pot shots off because if we can get that again, that'd be very nice. So he's got slightly more than us. That is one nice thing in uh, Age of Empires is you can uh, group select your opponent's units. Box select, that is find out exactly what they're rocking with. Now, that slow gold trickle we've been getting has been very helpful. And if he fights us over here, this is going to be, even though we've got slightly less than him, we're going to have the Aura of Doom. And we're working on plus one weapons now. EGC, hello and thank you very much. We're currently doing tiny bit of a, uh, a coaching session here but like more like a an english build sesh because you know that kind of content is good content and once okay, okay. now he still has a lot we have about the same actually but we are about to hit this plus one so why take a fight before our power spike words Words to live by, team. Words to live by. So, we're being just very calm, very careful. Our economy is very solid as well. So, this could be like a perfect time to fight as our plus one is about to kick in. Because very often you take a fight like this, you're more focused on the macro side of things, or rather the micro side of things, that it's like, oh no, his plus one hit. You don't even realize why you lost the fight as bad as you did. Now, I am going to lose this scout, most likely, but again, then we're already taking a fight as good as this, which we're going to keep on checking his upgrades as we're taking it, because right now, we're going to have a significant lead here. Get the uh, arm upgrades as we're going, and this, for all intents and purposes, has been fantastic, and we've just been macroing as it's been going. Okay, we're going to move out of the Z formation for a bit here. And again, just make sure that everything's flowing fine. And at this point, given that we've won this battle, we'll start thinking about getting a, a bit of a tech going on. Now we're going to continuously make archers. Ooh, that was a nice little shot. We're going to continuously make archers and continuously rally to the wood. And again, this... Given that we knocked off this wood, we're knocking off this wood a bit. My army is not going to remain as big as his, but we've got the better upgrades. We can take out villagers here like, like pronto. Now, he does have the network of castles here, but we have the numbers. That would have the super numbers. And let's... Oh. oh, well, that was nice and smooth, eh? GG. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth.
a little bit of English build order stuff. Now we can have a look at the game afterwards just to check what we did different and what have you to him. And I, I don't think his build was too different to us. That was an unusual mill. I guess it's kind of next to the uh, berries and stuff and what have you. But a few things about English Mirror. A lot of it's about efficiency. So the build in itself, getting wheelbarrow, it's good. It's good. But if you are getting wheelbarrow before you actually start making arches, obviously you're going to have less arches. And even if you have like a few moments here where you're getting the wood here, if I come over here with like five arches and you're just hitting your age two and you have to run away, or if I sneak around and you start gathering from here and you have to run away or, you know, just some situation like that, that is potentially very offsetting for that little eco advantage that you wanted to get in the first place. So is it always worth it? On a map that's far larger, wheelbarrow absolutely could be worth it. But on a map that you're kind of in your opponent's face straight away, I don't think so. You can say the same about a second TC. For a long time in English Mirror, I felt second TC was probably the best option. But given the little nerfs here and there of like TC build time and the 50 stone extra, again, I'm not sure. I think it's far more advantageous for English to play the true English way, which is, it's kind of funny how it goes in roundabouts, in that we started off with longbow pressure, and then we tried to do all the finessey stuff, such as fast wheelbarrow, second TCs, and what have you. And we kind of went back to the primal instinct for English, which is what we did first. So very, very kind of full circle almost, but I think it's, given that you can do it in a way that it's like, hey, you're aggressive, but here we got six on uh, gold so we're going to get uh, up to castle age in a, let, let's say in a minute or so for the gold wise and we're about to get uh, these 10 guys to make a, another set of farms got a few guys already getting food so the food is also going to be pretty solid so i said that our next phase here with eight guys on wood because we're still going to be able to make longbows uh we got the wood upgrade here i would say going for horticulture next would be really solid getting this farm set up over here would have been nice because then you've got this town center protecting it all. One really nice thing about English is all your food can be in one place, very Mongol-esque. So as we start working on the wood back here, we can have like a next set of farms around here, depending on where you want to put the uh, the castle upgrade. And I think one thing that is very smart to do with your castle, let's say our farm is here, we can then go for the, uh, the age three landmark here. That works out for protecting our food setup, but also let's just get this stone. And then that breaks up this stone you can potentially put another farm behind it as well so you end up with potentially 32 workers on your food and you're protected by a couple of town centers so it's it's very good to think about where you want your buildings as for over here you could say like hey i can make a little wall here a wall here and then you potentially don't have to worry about this section at all and then this this is potentially where you're going to be fighting if it's on your side of the map, which, you know, English Mirror, very often it's not. But uh, yeah, I think this was a good, good go-to. Granted, the matchup was a little bit uh, loppy, but a good way to go about your English Mirror play and build in general. And we'll just have a quick look at the eco. Yeah, we didn't go for an early wheelbarrow at all, but just because we were very efficient about how we did things, we still ended up with a very significant eco advantage.